Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain three presentation of DCV. DCV is a direction control wall. As the name suggests, this wall is used to change the path of fluid flow upon its actuation. Direction control walls are described by a combination of two numbers separated by a forward slash. The two numbers have meaning as the first number is representing the number of ports and the second number is representing the number of positions. Let us understand what is port and what is position. We will start with number of ports. Number of ports are seen on the external surface of a direction control wall and can be identified by looking at the wall. Here we see that this two and this one three are the ports. So there are two ports on the upper side of the wall and one port on the lower side of the wall. The number of ports may vary from two to five. When the number of ports are considered for designation, only the working port, pressure port and exhaust port are considered. In the coming slides, I will explain what is meant by working port, pressure port and exhaust port. The number of port does not consider the pilot port, which are generally provided at the sides of the wall. Now number of positions. Number of positions cannot be identified from the external view of the wall. It can be identified only from its internal mechanism. As displayed in the figure, there are three positions represented by three squares. The first position, then the second position and the third position. Number of positions in a wall may vary from 2 to 3. The position of a wall is always represented by square boxes adjacent to each other based on the number of positions. For example, two squares are used for two positions and for three positions, three squares are used. Connections to the wall are called as port and are shown outside these squares in numbers or capital letters like this. Here, two, four, five, one, three represents the port of a direction control wall. These numbers, as we can see in black color and red color, are written only in the either position of the direction control wall and they are not repeated on the both the positions of the wall. The ports are usually labeled only in their current state position which can be either actuated state or normal state and as explained are not repeated in other position. Here we can see that this wall has two positions one represented by blue color and other represented by yellow color. This wall has five ports and this wall is in its normal position. In order to understand whether the wall is in its normal position or actuated position, these numbers are the guide. This wall is in its actuated position that is blue color. But if we represent the number in both normal as well as actuated position, that would not be correct. And we would not be able to understand whether the wall is in its normal position or it is in its actuated position. The normal position is generally shown on the right hand side and the actuated position is normally shown on the left hand side of the observer. Now let us see how a wall is represented. A 2 by 2 direction control wall 
as the name suggests, has two ports and two switching positions. So blue color and yellow color are the two different positions and one and two are the two ports. Here we can see that the port one is connected to port two in the left hand side means the wall is represented in the actuated position whereas in the normal position the wall is not allowing the fluid to flow so it is blocked a 3 by 2 direction control wall has three ports and two switching positions like this blue color and yellow color are the two positions and one two and three are the three ports a 4 by 2 direction control wall has four ports and two switching positions. Here we can see that port number one is allowing the fluid to flow to port number two, as well as port number four is allowing the fluid to flow to port number three. Again, a four by three direction control wall has four ports, one, two, three, and four. Here also 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here also 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 ports in each square and 3 switching positions. And finally, a 5 by 2 direction control wall will have 5 ports. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And it will have 2 switching positions. Before we understand actuation, let us understand what is a designation of a wall in terms of numbers and alphabets. If the port is named as supply port, then it will always be 1. And the function of supply port is to allow the fluid to flow into the wall. A supply port is designated as 1 and uh, by alphabet P. A working port may be 1 or two in a direction control wall. The function of the working port is, it is the outlet port through which the fluid from the wall flows to the actuator. Actuator in general case is a single acting or double acting cylinder. A working port is designated by number two or number four and by alphabet A or B. Exhaust port can be one or two depending on the type of wall used. The exhaust port is used to allow the fluid to flow from the wall to either reservoir or to the environment. Uh, exhaust port is designated by either number three if there is only one exhaust port or by three and five if there are two exhaust port. And in terms of alphabet, the alphabet R, T or X are used to designate the exhaust port. Normal position is always shown to the right hand side of the square and actuated position is shown to the left hand side of the square. Like this. The yellow square is representing the normal position of a direction control wall and the blue position is representing the actuated position of a direction control wall. But whether the wall is in actuated position or the wall is in normal position can be understood by two things. Number one, the numberings. As we can see here, the numbers as well as the lines which are extending from the ports. If we see this, we understand that the wall is in its normal position now. If I want to show this wall in its actuated position, then it will be represented like this, where numbers and the lines extending from the ports will be shown in the left hand side of the square that is actuated position. Let's understand more about normal and actuated position. A 2 by 2 direction control wall has two ports and two switching positions. In a normal position, a 2 by 2 direction control wall 
is represented like this. And in the actuated position, the wall is represented like this. So by looking at the wall in normal position, we come to know that as the numbers 1 and 2 and the lines extending from the port are on the right hand side of the wall. So it is a normal position. And when these numbers and lines are drawn on the left hand side of the wall, the wall is represented in its actuated position. Similarly, a 3 by 2 direction control wall, which has 3 ports and 2 switching position, is represented this way in its normal position. That is, right hand side square is displaying number 1, 2, 3 and the lines extending from the ports. And in the actuated position, the left hand side section of the wall will have lines extending from the port and numbers displayed over it. Similarly, a 4 by 2 direction control wall, which has 4 ports and 2 switching position, is represented like this in its normal position. Now, in a 4 by 2 direction control wall, in its normal position, it allows the fluid to flow from port 1 to port 2 or from pressure port to working port. And the fluid from the actuator is coming from port 4 to port 3 or the fluid from the actuator is coming through the working port to the reservoir or the exhaust port 3. The same 4 by 2 direction control wall in its actuated position allows the fluid to flow from pressure port 1 to working port 4 whereas the working port 2 is providing the fluid to the exhaust or reservoir through port 3. A 5 by 2 direction control wall, as the name suggests, has 5 ports and 2 switching positions, is represented in its normal position like this, where the lines extending from the walls, port, and the numbers are shown on the right hand side of the wall. And if these numbers and lines are shown on the left hand side of the wall, then we would call it is in actuated position. And finally, a 4 by 3 direction control wall, which has 4 ports but 3 switching positions in its normal position is shown like this. So its normal position is the middle or center position where fluid is not flowing from anywhere. All the ports are blocked. If the left position is actuated, then it becomes a 4 by 2 wall where fluid is flowing from 1 to 2 and 4 to 3 or fluid is flowing from 1 to 4 or 2 to 3. Now, what is normally open and normally closed wall? A 2 by 2 normally open direction control wall is shown in the figure. Now, here the wall is actuated in its normal position. That's why it is called as normally operated wall. In the normal position, it is actuated. But in the actuated position, this wall will not allow the fluid to flow. Similarly, a 2 by 2 normally closed direction control wall is shown here. Normal position that is represented on the right hand side here as by numbers as well as flow lines. But the normal position is closed. That's why it is called as normally closed wall. A 3 by 2 normally open wall will have flow of fluid from port 1 to port 2 and port 3 will be blocked. So in normal condition, this is allowing the fluid to flow from fluid from port 1 to port 2. Whereas a 3 by 2 normally closed wall does not allow the fluid to flow from the ports. 
the port one is blocked. Whereas a three by two normally closed wall allow the fluid to flow from port two to port three and port one is blocked. A four by two direction control wall is like this. Here the wall is allowing the fluid to flow from one to two and four to three, whereas the left hand side of the wall allows the fluid to flow from one to four and two to three. In its left side actuation, 1 to 4 and 2 to 3 are corrected. Whereas in its right side actuation, 1 to 2 and 4 to 3 are connected. And finally, a 5 by 3, 4 by 3 center closed direction control wall is shown in the figure. If its left side is in action, then fluid flow between 1 and 2 and 4 and 3 is possible. And if it is right side actuation, then fluid flow from 1, 4 or 2 to 3 is possible. In the next video, I will explain what is actuation of a direction control wall, how actuation is done and what are the methods used for actuation of a direction control wall. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are visiting the, my channel for the first time and share the video link with your friends thank you